that's what I was trying to explain. <laughs> right, as above, so below. R, S, T, S before T goes above. So the above number is the uh, key, key number to the O's. So you put the S, the above number, as above, so below. So the T's the secret. See the T's the secret, the S unlocks the secret. Synagogue of Satan. Coincidence or just logic? There's the two eyes, the two columns, in the Illuminati or the Freemasonry, two pillars, the twins, the eye, back to back. You know, that's a, that's a satanic intention right there, revealed. Yeah some relevance to that. <laughs> oh dear. I'm having a bad hair day. <laughs> Just to show you my disassociated life. <laughs> oh dear. And my dad's. This is just unorganised rubbish. Because I had a car accident. Uh, that was all carefully staged I've, I've been I'm unable to clean anything so my my life is just so organized unorganized so right. <laughs> just to show you I'm not super duper holy super I'm just like everyone else show you something else Green's filthy. Oh, that's so slimy. Right. I think that's in focus. I got muck over my screen. I need to clean this. There we go. That's a nice symbol. O T O O O. Two eyes. Two O's, but no. I think, oh, is that innocent? What's that got to do with manufacturing? Rushmore Borough Council, 2002, really been. Is that not really? Nothing like it. Nothing like it. Just a recycle bin. Recycle bin. It's a recycle. Recycle. OTA, there it is, the OTA. I know a little about that, a little bit about that. And its members. It's the, I think it's the House of the Monarch Butterflies. I think that's a butterfly house, that is. Something to do, something like that. Anyway, that's that. Right, have you got clean feet? Have you got clean feet? Have you got clean feet? Have you been good boy? Have you? Your little stump. Who done your stump like that? Hey? Oh, your little waggly stump. You poor little thing. You know? You know? <laughs> no, you're not going on my bed. Oh, you are going on my bed. You are, aren't you? Yes. You love. 
Right, let's clean the screen. How do I turn it off? So I just pull the battery out. Dear Father in heaven, I thank you for this day, Father, I thank you for your Son, uh, my Lord Jesus Christ, I will day. Father, I pray you, help me get down the things thou, thou show me through my life and through this day out, outside and share my heart and testimony and faith. I pray you will guide me and lead me. I pray your Spirit, Father, will be with all that receive this video in in good faith in your heart that they may be helped in if they are in need of any nourishment I pray for your blessing and sharpness and, and hand and I thank you Father I pray for her. your love to be with us your blessing to keep us safe and in your, in, in your care I pray for our uplifting Father and your leading and helping me share my my, my uh, failings and help me be honest, Father, and, and truthful and sincere. And I pray for your spirit and sharpness and, and your grace to help me convey what you've shown me, what you've taught me and what you've cleansed from me, what you've removed from me and what you've shown me and help me share that, Father, because that's such a blessing. And, I'm not deserving of your grace and I pray you will help me share the things and lessons I learned from my parents and from my life and, and other good people and and even bad people and, and why that is Father. I pray and ask you, I pray for your lifting, I pray for your, I pray for thy will Father, I pray you will um, Help me in this offering, help me to your will, to your, your, your good pleasure, Father, to your pleasing, to your son, to his, to his goodness, his grace and his salvation. And showing me, uh, I'm just a dirt bucket, Father, I'm just a sinner, I am a backslider, I a, a, I have many weaknesses, but it doesn't excuse sin and and, and um, giving up on, on our testimonies. I pray you will help me convey your love and understanding in my life and help that be received by others, Father, in the same difficulties, in the same hooks, in the same, same vein. And, uh, help me touch upon that which will be related to, Father, in honesty and truth. I pray for your light, I pray for your love, I pray for your mercy, I pray for your Holy Spirit and your word, your, your sharpness, Father, your, your piercing love and your greatness. I pray that this be a, a blessing to you and for thee and for your son. And I pray in Jesus Christ's name, Father, I thank you for him. Amen. Okie dokie. <coughs> right, uh, <laughs> got a few things to say. <laughs> yeah. uh, it looks like I will be making uh, some more videos. Uh, I just. <laughs> right, I'm gonna be. I've got a few things that I, I thought about this morning and sort of reasoned and learnt myself. Right. Read it. I'll read it out. Right. right, in a previous video, uh, and, and, and I was being sincere, uh, and this is about um, 
vices and, and particular cannabis. I'm going to get onto that in a minute. Um, now, where did I write my notes? Here we go. I've got a few things I'd like to share. Just relax. Right. So I want to cover some facts, some lies, and some practicalities. So, uh, I've done a video previously about cannabis and, uh, and I'm always learning, I'm always growing and, and uh, I kind of lied honestly because, uh, well I'll explain, um, when you are using something like um, any medication, whether it's antidepressant or anything you've been doing for a long time now now like all things medications can be abused uh, painkillers can be abused valium can be abused uh, i don't want to get into the argument is it right or is it wrong that's not for me to say that's uh, the lord's judged by his light by his word and that's all i can go by that's all i want to go by because that's, you know, there's nothing else really, is there? So, I, I lied, but I, I didn't, I wasn't lying in a calculative way to be deceptive or, or a hypocrite. But I am a hypocrite because, you know, uh, I'm, I'm a human, I'm a liar. I'm, you know, I, I can be doing really well one day and I can jump on another train for five minutes and go back, you know, and then get off and get get back on the right train. You know, that's wrong. You know, I, I, that's not something I've set out to be doing ever. It's just a, a, a consequence of, you know, what you go through in life, what you're lotted with. So I'm trying to give some understanding. Now, um, like I explained in the other video, I, I, I was sort of like doing a medical uh, analysis if you like and in line with um, medicating in a with discipline like you would a medication now the trouble is you know to isolate I was explaining about isolating a strain now isolating strains is theoretically possible but with natural in with what, ne what with what the laws provided in creation and what we've ended up with today from the migration of the from the original plants we have the diversities of the genetics so you c even now I'm no I, I could go on learning about this and for years and years I'm I'm, I'm like a I'm an apprentice in understanding genetics I have a grasp of the, the basics the ABC and if you get the ABC you can you know, you've got the foundation to figure it all out logically and with the Word of God, with the principles of the Word, you can really sharpen up your research and refine, you know, the, get more detail. So I'm not going to go into too much detail, but just simply, this is why um, I have a bit left. Now, I'm, I'm breaking the law. I grew this uh, through the... I've got, I've got wild seeds come up in the garden, you know, and it was a little... Uh, one or two plants in the garden. It's a medical strain. And I'm not I'm not justifying it. I'm, this, I was, it is going out of my life, you know. But I've been on such a, a long term, I can't just stop it. I can't... It, that would be bad. That would be catastrophic. Uh, thankfully, I'm not involved with any criminality apart from myself breaking the law and if I get you know if I get busted I get that that's that's on me you know, and that's on on the law that's on the gospel that's a black mark you know I'm, I'm, I'm guilty you know I can't deny that so I took that risk that's my risk I was prepared to take that risk because I wanted to know and I also wanted some medication that I really needed uh, I couldn't get any painkillers, I couldn't get any... So, you know, I could justify it away. I could sit here and argue. But I'm not going to argue, I'm going to tell you the truth. You know, what I've done was wicked, really. It was 
but I didn't, I didn't, I'm not making an excuse, I didn't know any different. And I had to learn something and that's, a, you know, I'm grateful for that lesson. I'm out of that lesson, it's over, it's filled, it's filled with, the Lord's clean out, you know, I've had my m mouth washed out with soap. It was like when I was a child, I, 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 you know, I said, I learned the C word from somewhere, you know. <laughs> uh, disgusting, I didn't know what it was. And I got a bar of soap down my throat and, uh, you know, swallowed it and puked it up. But that's a lesson learned, don't say, don't say those horrible words, you know. Um, my mouth is like kind of explaining, you, you know, that's an area you stay away from it. it's a vulgar and it is a vulgar vulgar word you know but that's the sort of surroundings I grew up crude and vulgar my mum was no different my dad my dad was he was he never swore well he swore but his family never swore they were very very gentle and uh, you know they, they didn't have much vice so anyway this is a uh, a reduction. Now the point is, even in you isolate the medical strain, this I think this is what the Lord wanted me to get across. So even even in the even if you isolate the harm the less harmless properties or the chemicals, whatever you want to call them, out of the actual whole genetic makeup. It's even if it's ninety nine percent, you're not going to get a hundred percent. This is my point. This is, uh, and and you can test me on this. You can test the facts. You know, you can prove me wrong. You know, uh, but this is my examination over you know a, a long many years of, of experience in not just with cannabis, with uh, fruit trees and other plants. You know, that's I've, I've always had that love before I knew what you know I knew about hemp. I didn't know about getting high in cannabis. You know that would. That was a world that I was introduced to, you know, that's a world that everyone's got that hanging over and there's little sweets, and, you know, like into the woods, you know, candy. <laughs> you go off and you get picked off, you know, you're getting sucked into that world. That's, that's how I was poached into that world. So, you know, this is out of that world. This is actually a rabbit hole sort of thing and all the Disney stuff. And uh, so I'm going to share that. So you can genetically... This is the thing, this is another thing, the genetic modification. Now, I've researched this, it's in, it's in the growing medium. So all this hydroponic organic stuff, it's not uh, kosher, you know. You don't know what you, you need to look at, you need to examine the facts, what goes in this stuff. And they don't wash it out of the plant. So there's a genetic property that's been in millions of pounds invested in it to change the plant's genetic structure to make it eat more, to make it thrive. You don't need that. You know, that's, that, that's, that's for a different reason because nature could, you get a, what's called a hybrid figure with all natural plants after, after you've isolated a strain and keep breeding them, they naturally flourish and get double the size. You know, it's called hybrid figure. And they're trying to artificially force it on a commercial scale. And I think the reason is just to get it into your system. And it will it will have effects on your brain, and that will open, like cannabis itself, it opens you up, you know. And if these people are peering into your conscience, putting packets in your conscience with te technology, they're mapping your conscience, you know. How do you know that they're not trying directly con controlling you because they they have your DNA and your personality? That's a very scary thing, and I think that's exactly what they're doing, and and it's all governed by a supercomputer and. They're, a, they're able to target anyone and basically get into their heads, get into their minds, and and like like Facebook kind of thing, but not in a gathering the detail. They've actually pro mapped you right, and put it on a computer, giving you a profile on a computer, and it's building and it's running. The computer's building your profile and learning about people, mapping people. I think this is what the beast is. I think this is the Antichrist beast, and that's what... Uh, Cannabis is a needed component in that, I think, and a genetic vehicle, perhaps, and in other other food, because it's not only grown in, like, to grow cannabis. It's also used to commercial products, and it, and, it, and if they don't say it's genetically changed, who's really looking after it? And people haven't got the knowledge. How do they know what to police? So, if one little, one two little components within the whole ingredient. It's genetically been modified, then you're not going to be told about it because it's justified us, you know. It's not organic, it's 
pa yeah, and telling you what, what else it is. And that's another thing with drugs, when you're buying off uh, illegal people, they're just cells. And they can put diseases in, they can put, you know, the, and if you're breaking the law, that, that's deemed in the eyes of the law, it serves you right for breaking the law and getting involved with these people. So they may justify putting things in it. So that, that you know, that's my people perish for lack of knowledge. You know, that's Jose. Uh, I can't remember the chapter, but that's a stark warning to day and age. And that, so this is a stark warning for anyone in in the church body. You know, you really want to stay off this. It, even if you've got a medical condition, there's better things, honestly, like a service or, you know, if you really need something, I, I, I wouldn't, I'd really take that as a last option and make sure it's tested and you're testing it with people that keep an eye on you and pull you out of it. I really, People don't take this seriously, they think it's all, oh, you know, it's all, mm, it's all for me, well, you know, it's all hyped up through the roof, it's a, it's a wicked thing, it really is, so, so I wanted to cover that, and, uh, you know, what I, it, it, I, you know, I trust the Lord in, in everything I do, and I had that in mindset, that that doesn't justify what I've done, that was another point I wanted to make. I kind of had it in, in, you know, I wanted to know the truth, but what, but doing that is like turning from the Lord, you see. And even in getting back to the 90s, you know, even though I bred it and isolated it, it still contains that 1% of the psychoactive. And that little 1% is a saucy little bit that can make, and that's where you're caught out, you see, that's where you're, if you if you if you've got an attention problem or you've got any uh, impairment in your le a learning disability or anything like that, that can really throw you off. Especially when you're post traumatic stress, it can really aggravate it and it can really take you off course for good, you know, months, days, weeks. And I'm not serious. I'm serious. I, I, you know, I could be taking myself in the wrong environment. In, and in getting caught out and not keeping it in check, you know. It's like praying. If you stop praying, if you stop reading your scriptures, just for one or two days, the wind takes you. And and, and with with this stuff, it makes that you know, like a little tissue. <laughs> and uh, that's where you get hooked on other things. Other, other things start coming, you know, could come back and you could start you know, getting what's been removed from you. And that, that's what I, that's what I learned. I had a fawn, and I had that fawn for a reason, is to learn to chastise me, to stop me getting too big for my boots, or, you know, and glorifying in this rubbish. It really beat me as a cruel master. You know, nicotine, uh, alcohol addiction, they're, they're horrible, you know. Who would want them? They are. They are beasts, you know, they, have, they, they drag you around the floor, you, a grip around the back of your hair, you know, on your head, and they mop you, you know, that's Satan, you're giving, you're giving Satan a handle, even in the minutest little property, it, it can catch the most vulnerable people off guard, and you hardened takers, you know, you might be used to that, but someone who's, who's not, that did you know that's frightening that's 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 a real serious dangerous thing that can really smash someone I, I'm, I hope people realize the seriousness of cannabis and our government you know you know I really hope there are some conservative people that you know really regulate it if they if they're ever considering making it okay or legitimate to do it do it yourself, you know, like homebrew or something. They should really consider and educate people on the dangers, but I, I really don't see it. So, uh, so I was being a little saucy, but um, I'm being honest. You know, that is going. I, I did mean what I said, but I've I, I've got a few little bits left, and once it's gone, you know, praise the Lord, it'll be gone, and I can continue on in this vein. 
you know, and I can, the, 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 you know, the mercy, the precious blood of the Lord, you know, is clean that for me. And I want to encourage anyone who's in that pitfall that, uh, you know, you, you, you will get over it. And I just wanted to i divide it into just to keep keep this in context to prevent any knocking somebody over in their walk in, in Christianity because I you know I've probably got a lot of apologies to do from getting caught out by this saucy spirit and, and other pitfalls that are set up in the world that that we're not quite fully aware of that we we hit we hit them and then we're not really you know, we know all the devil's devices, but sometimes we we, we don't know it until we, if we've transgressed. You, you learn you learn what that devil's device is once to work out how to get out of it. You know, and the Lord makes narrow your escape and how to teach you. You know, if you're falling out, you got to go through. You got to either climb up, you either jump out, or you climb up, run up the greasy slope, playing with it, trying to hang on to it. Everyone's got an everyone's different, so you shouldn't measure if somebody's caught in it longer than somebody else because nobody can really judge that. That's up to the individual. So um, I, I've thought this through very carefully and, and seriously. So those who are really off it and they be be on the edge, you know, I don't want to glorify it and say, oh, look, it's all right to go back to it. If you're off it, stay off it. That that that's really just the best advice. That's not that's not me larging it up. Being a policeman, I have you know I have no right. I'm weaker than most people in this area. But that you really should stay off it, and just in case you like encouraging someone else, like you know that's and that's what I try to avoid. But ended ended up doing it anyway because you you get you know someone gets wind of it, you get all the bees around the honeypot want to smell. You know, and all the flies come as well, and you think, oh no, this is just a nightmare. Why did I get myself involved? Um, yeah, and if you are doing it and you're having a struggle, you're coming off reducing it because uh, all all the things I we're all like on a little long line. You know, it's not a cliche that one thing leads to another. They are associated. The hardest thing for me is tobacco. That's the, like the tip of the point of the, of the fall. And where it's been broken off is all the other stuff, you know. And, and that can be really put put into the fall, you know. And you can fall back into your. Now I want to explain about going back to your vomit and go and re-vomiting. There, there's a there's a difference. Going back to your vomit is going back to the environment and the life that the Lord has saved you from. Now, re-vomiting, that's something completely different because you can't go back there. If you've been saved, you're not going to want to go back there. But you might tumble over in yourself and fall in, inboard, it's called, or fall in the bottom of the boat and slap around with all the smelly fish and stuff But um, until you recover yourself. So if you are churning in, in, in addiction and trying to get off it, you really you make it hard for yourself by mixing in the wrong environment so you need to separate from the environment and keep it cold you need to go cold you can't really do anything for the Lord you need to just lay on the sick bed and go cold and get off it and get off it with the Lord personally because you can and if you are doing it you're, the Lord will help you reduce it in, in your right right way but if you're not disciplined you're going to be you could be churning around that and around that and around that you really can't muck around with it if you really want to get off it you'll get off it now that took me a long time i'm not going to tell you how long it, it took me a very long time and i was you know that was a bane for me i plead it's like paul i pleaded you know i don't want this i, I was ashamed and the lord has put the shame of it away but i i, I had it i, I had that fawn and that little fawn is wicked. That one little bit of fawn can open up the whole Pandora's box for me. You know, it's, uh, get me out of that, please, 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 get that out of me. And that's how I've been, get that out of me, I don't want it. Like, my little dog, he's got a little black claw, you know, just to remind me of that little bit of sin. And that keeps you humble, but you don't want to reattach 
all the other monkeys and all that stuff, all that iniquity and all that vice, oh, and, you know, no thank you, because that'll make you sick. So if you are struggling with it, you really need to do it in your sick bed and keep it in your closet and not, not, not flaunt it. You need to be thankful that you're out of it and the Lord's going to help you deal with it. That's the, that's the perspective, I think, that needs to be addressed. You need... You know, you need to be honest about it. You, you don't, because if you're if you try and hide it away from the Lord, it's like raises his eyebrow and rolls his eyes, and he will just push you away with his feet. You know, go, <laughs> you know, get over there, get away. You know, if you're gonna do that, just until you're you're sincere. If you wanna if you wanna roll around in it, you roll around in it. But, you know, I've given up for seasons, I just couldn't take it, so I rolled around in the swill, you know, and go, oh, this is horrible, you know, getting Satan giving me a big dunking in the, in the, in the, in the bog, you know, stick my head down the toilet, give me, you know, problems, and, and, but that taught me, you know, that taught me, that takes me, took me to the Lord, so, you really should stay off it, and those who've never done it, you know, God bless you, don't ever, don't ever look back, you know, like be an example for us because there's people who are backsliders and they really need brothers and sisters, you know, don't, don't be big headed, but I mean, be thankful, you know, like people are thankful for you because you light up, you're strong and people need that, brother, people who are broken need a little, they need an example like that to like, it's sort of a covering for them, it's like, oh yeah, you know, you can hold on to that in another brother and sister's testimony, as long as they're not like a bit sharp with it, they're loving and they're just understanding, that can be, you know, you need to hold that end up and, you know, you're very blessed and uh, very grateful for brothers and sisters that are, you know, like on that, on that arm, they're like, solid and uh, they're a great example to to know you know you're just the same you're just a bit bruised a bit dented and you, you're an old banger you know they're a bit more uh, looked after and they got an MOT so <laughs> ours have been abandoned around the woods burnt out <laughs> and uh, sort of crashed and everyone's had a go in it sort of thing it's disgusting but uh, you know you have a base life you see all the all the sewage and stuff and it's uh you know it's not very nice and you just want to you want a piece of what everyone else has got and that's that's what i'm trying to you know you're bright lights and uh beacons right i've done a video just a little clip this morning on my wheelie bin and i learned something that's quite disturbing i close if i close this uh which is my little screen and I can twist it and once I shut it the camera should automatically close and this is Wi-Fi, I did, when I brought the camera I didn't realise it was Wi-Fi, I was looking at other things, I for, forgot Wi-Fi and that and it's not even activated but it's live, you know, and I'm ah, for just an expensive camera, what a bozo, you know, I missed, I admitted to, to double check that, I didn't really want a Wi-Fi camera simply reason for, well they're open source aren't they and anyone can have a look at them and, and upstream you yeah, in packets trickling uh, you know and I closed I, I done a little film by the dustbin and I put it on on here and I closed the thing and it my camera didn't shut and as I walked up the stairs I'm not realizing it's filming and I thought I right, no, that's never done that before why and when I reopened it, that's when the shutter should also, the, the lens, it's got a lens aperture, so when you open and close the, the panel, it automatically protects your lens. It's got like a steel shutter, like that, a little closure, an aperture. For some reason it didn't close. And it was wide open, live, and I thought, oh, make a note of that. That's, and that's not happened before, so my camera, me thinking my camera's off, it's filming live, you know, and it's Wi-Fi, and I can hear the, you know, like when you, you got a phone call coming, you can hear the little click, or on the computer, and you got the dee 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 over the phone, dee, dee, all the little, uh, I can hear that, 
you know, it's working, it's communi it's, it's pinging back and forth. And I think, well, I haven't got it switched on. What choice have I got as technology? You know, I'm going to put a soldering iron to it or something. Buy a new camera, but I can't afford to. It costs a, a lot of money. So, uh, anyway. The thing on the dustbin was a OTA. I'll give some thoughts about that. Right, uh, it's quite simple. Bear with me a sec, right. Try and go. Can you see that? Right, see A T A, right, and we'll circle that one. Do the alphabet R S, you know, L M N O P Q R S T. Right. So we've got so we got that now. S and a T and two O's, right, forget the two O's because they're they're minus the point, right? So that you admit those. I'm admitting those in this equation. Don't ask me why, I just am. So S T so we've got S before T, so on the dustbin it's like that kind of thing. If there's any symbolism uh sim you know, symbolism or connection to the what the film I've done on the wheelie bin. But anyway, so we've got now we've got the triangle. Right, it's got S O S Synagogue of oh, what am I doing? A P Q R S T. I've done that wrong. Well, it's SOS, so SOS Synagogue Synagogue of Satan. Oh, never mind. But on 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 the uh, wheelie bin, it's got two eyes. So uh, I, w I just want to talk about the uh, the S the. the the ATA, I'm not that familiar, but I know it's to do with uh, celebrities and, mo and monarch. I'm pretty sure it's to do with monarch program. It's a handling of the monarch uh, batch and the various batches of those families and uh, layers. And um, I think I know that a lot of the uh, MK Ultra. And that's who I really want to reach out to and, and thank really for their testimonies, their uh, you know their life experience and sharing it because um, I, it's, it kind of um, helped me with my experiences and piece it all together and um, it took me a long time. I actually I. Oh, I'm not going to name the people, but there was a, a lot come out, and uh, if you know you know the scene, you know all the staging and all the people who rallied together and yeah, we, and how it come together. And then if you're involved in it, you're going to see you know what's hovering over it and what and the traces of it and the the people's life stories and the backgrounds they come to. If you come from a similar background, you're going to bear some relationship to where it's affected you in your life and where where you've come from. Now, one of the things that I noticed was really more to do with my mother, and that was the sisters and the, the ladies who come from the like, monarch background. and. Yeah, <sighs> Uh, it took me a long time to comb through that. I'm afraid that was that was heart wrenching to think what people are put through, what they're pinched through, what, and all the lies and all the the holds. And I, uh, if you've seen that film, The Pianist, uh, I think it's The Pianist, and they're rounding up the Jews, and then 
you've got this um, a very small slim amount of people are really quite sharp they really you know they're not they're not buying any of what's going on they know and they're off you know and then they're trying to warn everyone and warn everyone about what's coming what you know what what they can feel in the wind what they can taste and they're trying to warn people but people are like dazed in the spotlight of it all you know how could people do that you know Oh, they wouldn't do that, no. And so, indifference, you see, that that's another psychological trick to keep people, you know, in the slaughter, really. And um, so a lot of the Jews, you see, compromise, who were scared to death, really. They were, like, threatened and approached by one arm and, you know, and then told some lie about the other arm to, you know, you justify their circumstance that they have it a bit easier but they were used to police the other Jews you see so that caused contention that caused hatred and you know uh, pain on both sides it affect you know it, well, you know these two hands these these horrible hands getting the, the Jews to hurt one another you know and some of those Germans were, were Jewish as well you know that's the tragedy but that, that you know that come out one day, the whole, the whole complete hypocrisy of it, the satanic influence in the world, and and the vices that this OTA stuff and the monarch and all these super soldier programs, and, and you can bet there's been branches and layers and layers and layers of testing to come up with these programs, and then those programs are field tested here, there and everywhere and that's all correlated and passed on and it bulks up and then it then they roll it out and there probably really is, you know, an active super soldier in on duty, for, you know, and probably most of the army are sort of that condition that way, you know, it's just getting more advanced and they're, they're looking into different gifts and talents that these people have and this is what all these people in the OTO and all the celebrities they're poaching, the Mickey Mouse Club and the Star Club and the, all the programmes are targeted for them. They're designed, they, you know, they're created for them to play in because they want to poach the talent of those genetic people. They've got gifts in that area. Just like there's other areas in, you know, technology and mathematics so that you, you're poached you're groomed and you're kept stunted. So if you if you're a, a blessed blessed seed, you know if you're a tri if you if you're from the seed of Israel, and you've got those natural blessings, you ain't aware of it. And you don't know genetic inheritance, and you don't know all the blessings from that uh, Jacob gave his children. You're not going to see what you what you've got. Like all these celebrities are just used. They're just compromised. And, uh, you know, and that's how it, it's just the same as back in the Nazis. How one they get one to hate the other. You see, it keeps it in check. Uh, you get all the favour, we get all the shit. Excuse my language and my cussing. But uh, you know, that's basically how it's set up. <coughs> and this is where I can see the dangers because these people are still overwhelmed by. Um, what, you know what they've been part of it's incredibly intrusive it is you're a prisoner in, in so many regards you're violated you know you're on a constant you're right you're an you're an open bit of flesh in a cage in a zoo and everyone that's how you feel and you're exposed and you're you know some people um are just naturally starstruck, you know, and they're going to flourish in that area and not, not get any problems in life. They're going to, it's all going to be clean, you know, it's going to be like the normal ups and downs in life, but it's going to be the doors are open for people. And then, where, then the other side of the seesaw, the doors don't open for people, the pitfalls open, and the, you know, you get the, you're on the other end of it, you know, to make you feel better, sort of thing, you know. So anyway, I wanted to, to you know, there's a lot of people in affected by this compromise, and perhaps they they, they are unaware of the, the associations. They still 
to feel about hanging over them and they don't know quite how to deal with it as, as a Christian or or even not as a Christian, you know, I can't imagine. You know, and I, I think some of the strongest testimonies I've heard from sisters were... Mm -hmm. well, uh, Food break. Um, yeah, I ran out of memory, so I lost my train of thought. So I, I realised I could, uh, you know, there's, it's capable that they can trigger moods and things remotely. So that was a, just a practicality I wanted to give people a heads up on. And reacting, another another thing is just really not fear and stay close to the Lord. And uh, th those things will. He will overturn them. You just stay tight. He'll overturn them. You'll be a witness to those people. And one thing I found helpful is not to hate or bite or chew back or thrash, but to actually pray for these people and pray that they, that, you know, they learn something through. Through because a lot of people have, are used. I think they're thrown one after the other, and they don't see. They don't see what was before them. They, they, you know, they're given a ticket. You know, probably groomed out of Cambridge and university colleges, and told this, that, and the other about that person. They target them. They're doing some wonderful job for you know. And like, if you break the law, you're gonna you're gonna draw that sort of attention. If you're mixing with the wrong crowd, you're gonna catch wind of these uh, MI5 people. And there may be a legitimate reason that they're keeping an eye on things, you know, they might, who knows, they might be watching, trying to watch on, work out what on earth's going on themselves, so you can get caught up in all that and put on, then there's private hands you can get passed over, and there's all the interest of other people that you, there's all this fear, so you never know who you're, until afterwards you don't know who your enemy's been really, and, and those around you. But not that we have any enemies, that you know. Anyway, I wanted to cut. I want to get back to the ATO thing. So, I'm, so uh, sounded a bit of a wally, you know. <laughs> well, what's he on about there? Well, ATO just simply is with the Masonic triangle. Uh, it, if you uh, just that one letter, because the two O's are neutral. You have got one letter and two neutral O's. So if you do the alphabet and you, you you just put the S before the T, that's all I did. But it doesn't mean anything, doesn't mean it's revealed any master secret. I'm, it's just something I drew on paper and that's what I wanted to show. So I'm not saying that's some, um, you know, master genius of light exposing some hidden clue. But I'll show you just... just by that sort of equation and the logic by putting the S before the T and, and don't count the A's as anything, just leave them as A's in the corners you see of a triangle, so you've got um, S at the replaces the T, O, T, O so you've got O, O, C now if you start at the uh, S and go any direction you got SOS, you see, Save Our Souls or Synagogue of Satan. You know, and it's half the triangle, you see, the half of the it's one half of the synagogue of Satan, if you like. Could be, it could be what it's showing. You know, they like to reveal, oh look at us, we're in the club, you don't know, we we, we leave all this stuff in like the films. You know, because we know that's what they're saying, they like to boast, oh look, we're in it we can see it and that's how it comes across anyway whether that's subconscious but I, 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 my gut you know trust your gut you know I might be wrong you can measure me on this and you can measure me on anything you can rebuke me if you you feel I'm wrong you know I, well, on any area you know I'm, I'm open for correction <laughs> And I'm open, more open to the Lord to be corrected than by anybody else, and I'm, I'm willing to be corrected by brothers. I respect my brothers, and if anybody wants to say, look, you're wrong, well, you're welcome to come and show me. Uh, the door's open. Um, but anyway, S, 
SOS, you know, synagogue of Satan. And then you got the T on the dustbin was too high, so it's almost like a pair of pillars, you know, two pairs of curtains. Like a revealing in the triangle, so that, that's how my mind works. <laughs> Whether that's right or not, that's just my imagination, that's how I saw it. Uh, if you have like a... Uh, let me see if I could do it on a piece of paper. If I highlighted the end, ends. See where I've hot marked the edges in black, you see. Mirroring each other back to back. And then looking in the mirror. Actually got the so when you close them up you get, it's just inverting out of scriptures really, you know, eye and eye. Uh, relationship between you know uh, father and son child and and, and the father for it, and Christ you know it's kind of a the two columns it's all to me it's all from the Babylonian mystery school it's taken from that you know from the, the apostasy of King Solomon you know he he felt like they're not judging King Solomon King Solomon's been judged you know I'm just looking at the the practices where you know the, the children of Israel went wrong, they, and that was effect of sin. They couldn't avoid it. Solomon couldn't avoid going through what he went through. He, he inherited that. You know, it, it was part of the problem of kingly and royal family lines. You've got the you know the tussling who's the best, and it all, all you know, like you look through the scriptures, look at the Corinthians, and look at the. The measuring of the early apostles, you know, he's, it's our nature to compare. Oh, he's got more than me. It's not fair, you know. And it, that is throughout our nature, whether that's in some degree. Whether, and you can go the other way. Oh, I'm not like that, you know. You can put on a, a appearance. But I think the ATA, that eye on the bin, is a little token. You know, look at our horn, our little signature everywhere. You know the ATO club, and I think that's what it, and I think that's where the monarch people are handled. I think the ATO are the handlers, you know, they're the, and you got the division like I was on about the Jews are left and right, and, and and some people are victims of it, and they're like they got this other lot over them, and they're not aware of it, and they're part patsy. Some maybe there may be some agreement, but it's like an uh, if you know like um, anything to do with building and plumb lines. If you look at the onyx in the temple, the uh, and I think a, pl a plumb line is to get a you know a vertical access, you, 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 and, and also a, a, a level, you know, and you can use it for so. It's a, a very useful tool, and when you hold it on a frame and you just suspend it by its own weight and let it just touch on the tip, you get a perfect like gravity going through the axis of the earth so you get a perfect measurement you see and that's what masons use those tokens to in principle so you can imagine like the triangle and the the plumb line hanging down it you know that little plum in the middle is a is a targeted victim and that that square over it's a house who look over them now they may be aware of it they may not be you know, and that's where I'm, you know, I'm in that little breed, you know. And I didn't know about those. Now I know about those. You know, psh, bye, you know, get lost. You don't own me. You might think you own me. I might let you own me. I might let you think you own me. But the Lord owns me. I'm the Lord. You know, you want to mess with me, you got to take on that guy, you know. And I've seen, I, I'm scared what I've seen. I, I'm, you know, I'm frightened what I've seen. I didn't want to see it. Didn't want to see what happened to those people, but you mess with people, you mess with one of the lords, whether that's a child of Israel. You know, and if you're a child of Israel and you're hurting yourself, you're hurting each other. That's really going to hurt you. That's going to hurt your whole family. That's going to hurt the Lord. 
and I think that's what what all these target individuals are. They're, they're the children of Israel, or they're the mixed seed, and they've been bred with the Irish, you know, and and uh, other other bloodlines, you know, they're mixing tribes, and they're we're prisoners, and we're being somebody knows who we are and where we're going to pop up. I, uh, that's my that's my suspicion. That's just my what I'm coming to see, you know, I might be wrong on that. And because I'm a Christian, it doesn't really matter, you know. My heritage is very important, that matters to me. But now, I'm, I am no different. I'm a, I'm, you know, I'm an unprofitable servant. Who am I? I'm nobody. I'm just like the Lord spoke, and I'm a part of that, and I can't account anything of, that to, of myself. And I'm very grateful to be part of that. And I think these people in the OTO, some people are still a kind of hooked by it and perhaps not aware or trying to get away from that influence that the Lord's dealt with but you still got your foot in it or you still got your you know your, your fight in your shadow or something I'm, I'm, I'm no expert I just my heart feels for people and I want I, I, I've seen the fallout I've seen the, the cruelness of how they lie they play one hand off another you know it's a dirty game and very hard to discern who's really serious and who's perhaps not so aware of the, the situation there. And I, I, you know, I'm trying to feel my own way through the uh, MK Ultra stuff, and uh, uh, and I can see almost like a an invisible hand by Satan, but I can also piece with their with other people's evidence. You see, being in, directly involved, and we've got some. There's some key pieces on the table, I feel. There's um, people who've actually grown in it, people who've grown in it, aware of it, people who've grown in it and been used and unaware of it. And there's those, so many different models, they all work together on the big platform to play everybody, like the mouse trap, you know. The, once a board's set up, it's very hard to figure where you come into this. Am I just on the outskirts? Because I just, I had a, when I realised I had a tra traumatised injury, I didn't consider any dirty hand in it. I thought, you know, it's impossible. But now, and now I know military MO, I could have been triggered by a flag. That could, that, could, that opportunity, opportunity could have been waited for and pounced on when it happened. A bit of stirring, a bit of whispering, a bit of false counsel can cultivate things to happen. I've seen all the stage stuff and all the, you know, all the little, the little game, the Hollywood games, and the you know Oliver Twist Club dancing down the street and all that stuff, or synchronised actors playing their part, and how they drip, they use cover members in and on that. You know, I know all the hooks, all the candy traps, and all the I can see it. You know, and I'm wary of it, and I think we've all got that hanging over us, whether we've left it or not. And it's very, very you think. I saw all this. I thought I won't put my trust in anybody. You know. I, and that's why I've been reserved with my testimony. I thought I'm not getting hooked or chewed up. I'm certainly not going to abandon ship. I'm going to, you know, I'm hoping for, you know, more clarity to come from this. And I hope I can share someone that can pe people keep, like I've struggled to keep it all in context and not get swept off in what I think it is, but just actually measure to. You know what's the truth? What is what is going on, and how does it work? And I'm starting to see, you know, quite clearly, you know, the ambiguous power of it, and the fear of it, the hold of it, and that's relinquished in Christ. And if you're still sort of you got your foot in the world and your foot in Christ, and you're you're learning, you know, you're on your walk and you're learning in your walk. It, you um, you can still have it, you know, like a shadow over you, and you fight that shadow and bite it, and that's that's kind of what I'd experience. Uh, with um, <coughs> targeting with elect, it's another thing. If you're if you're a target, you're you know you, that could be because you're not perhaps not dealing with it so well. If it's not exacerbated, if it hasn't gone away, it's a constant, you're running around, you know, it's chasing you all the time. Uh, perhaps you're not a believer in Jesus Christ, perhaps you are a believer and you're not, you're not quite, 
you're in the right in the thick of it and you quite, can't quite figure it out and you're on your own and you're you know you're in a little safe pocket somewhere having a rest or put, you know just having a breather trying to gather yourself it, I, I don't know I'm just trying to consider all these circumstances uh, but you really do need need to save you because he's the only one who can really keep you tight help you deal with all that scarring that violation especially if it's sexual especially if there's stuff you still need to resolve that you don't know and you're just still trying to figure it out I, I don't think it's something you can rush and I think you need that covering of the saviour and if you're a see I, I see a lot of single sisters or sisters on their own and I don't see many brothers I see, I, I know I, I think I really would know one brother who's at MK Ultra that's given this test to me really that I would I, I, I find sincere and genuine I'm not going to name him he's a wonderful wonderful person he's been through a terrible lot you know, he's, and he's had some wonderful friends around him and that that was one of the things that moved me to his testimony and I thought yeah this guy Although it sounds really wacky, and he probably doesn't quite know, you know, he's figuring it out, he's trying to work out such a, you know, like we all are, we're, we're, we just can't comprehend what we've been under, you know, and the curse and the curse of sin on, on this sort of activity and how that, that can go, the, you know, like the Lord said, fourth, fifth generation, you know, you don't know what you're families have been involved in you could it's a curse and it's a past on curse and and I, I i think the two the, the satanism the practice of it and the curse are related so i think we're all related to it all all of us in this nest are related to that curse and association are we all the seed of israel i don't know i really don't know and like i say it doesn't matter if you're a safe christian you, you're neither jew nor or Greek, you know, you were one in Christ Jesus. He's a Hebrew, you know, he's a Jew, so we're just members of that family, the Commonwealth of Israel. And that's the promise to Israel to come. You know, that's their inheritance. You know, we've if you're a seed of Israel, whether you're half half in and half out, you're half Gentile, you know, or predominantly Jewish, half Gentile, you could be predominantly Jewish, uh, Gentile and a bit of recessive, your children maybe, uh, you know, that's with genetics, it's not fully understood, and it's learning, you know, you need the scriptures, and you, you probably need a lot of uh, approved brothers, and who can approve themselves in the scriptures to, to, to study it all out, and it's, I don't think it's something that ever be worked out, uh, I think it's a personal thing, you know, and you, you you remove yourself and then think, well, who who's in that spot? What have I been through? What what's my relationship to this? You know, am I just a dirty rag Gentile? Am I uh, cursed and all this? And you have to work out your own salvation and your own own life. But that's my general gut feeling that a lot of these celebrities are a lot of the talented people in the world. Uh, disassociated. If you've seen that film, One Flew Over the Cookie's Nest, you know that. Basically, that's a tale of lobotomizing and knowing how to disassociate a human. So that, there, you got the perfect zombie model, and then you could probably lead them around and with treats and electric shocks, teach them to do basic tasks. You start from there and build up. This that film shows that this knowledge and practice has been. Oh, you know, on the evil mind, on the big brother's twin mind, you know, the dark brother. You know, whether it's good or bad in the world, it's, it, it's, neither of them are completely true. It, it's the same hand playing that puppet. And that's what, uh, that's what goes on in the celebrity world and the world. It's like one lot's played against another one. Some will get privileged, some don't. And that's like in society, some get the all the doors open, others don't. And, and those that get the door open could be related to the people who don't. And then the people who get all the doors open are told to hate the people who don't get the doors open. And they could put that wedge, and they just, 
you know, leave them alone fighting it out for generations, you know. And then you've got another house over that managing it and it's all layered in iniquity and every and I think the children of Israel are captive to that uh, iniquitous house, you know, the whole world's yoked by this iniquitous practice. It's, I don't know how world, I just know it's theoretically there and it's active, I, I don't know the scale of it, I live in, you know, a little spot in England, I, I don't very rarely go out of my house, you know, I've got the bare necessities or, or posting tracks through letterboxes and, and I haven't done that for, well, I have done it a few days ago, but I mean, I haven't been as active as I, I was because of uh, injury and you know problems and slipping and you know dealing with injury and dealing with all the memory of all. all it, you know, this is only a recent thing to remember what my trauma was. I still haven't remembered it, and I've got a lot of other things I keep to my heart that I really think, well, you know, I'm not, I'm just not sure about. You know, even being violated as a kid, you know. Who do you... I've had no adults to speak about it. I talk to the Lord about things like that, you know, and try and work it out as I'm going along, and that's what I'm doing. So I'm trying to reach out to people, perhaps not quite sure what where they are day to day, and it gets quite hairy, and, uh, and they, like, get washed away for a bit, and the Lord gathers them round. So they you know, I want to not only reach the lost people that haven't got the Lord, but also people that have the Lord and, and like me, get washed away. And it takes them a while to gather themselves and get them. Well, they're going through so much, so much stuff. It's just overwhelming. You can't possibly, you know, like a wave of stuff. You just got to bear it up. Sometimes you need to you need to be in a nice peaceful environment to allow that to happen, and I think that's another thing you have to learn is you, you have to be honest with what you have to be close to the Lord to see what you're going through, all emotional and this emotions you're going through and where they're coming from, and then that that gives you peace. And that's what I'm trying to offer peace, uh, peace of mind, just through knowledge and understanding and trust, trust the Lord. Um, and my, you know, one of my worries for victims is where do they go, you know, if I think, well, they're not going to go, they may not necessarily go to the Lord, like, like I've been led to, where are they going to go? They're going to fall in these pits where all these sharks hang around and those people who are around them things that could be under the influence, they, they may not necessarily realise what they're involved with and they feel in their heart that they need to help these people and they you know, they do in large help these people. But then you get all these other people praying around and you get this false information and then people leave themselves open to get hurt and they get they put their trust in the wrong person and it creates a everyone following behind follows the pattern. And I, I wanted to avoid that. A I couldn't go through that because I was so emotionally distraught and hurt. No way is he going to get me out of my box. You know, no way going to get me to open my heart. Not in that environment. No. You know, and that's my concern. What about other people who got chewed up or trashed by people not understanding? And then you get the media circus over, and then you get the independent because everyone wants, everyone wants to help out. You know, there's a lot of good, a lot of bad, and it all gets in the, in the mix. And 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 then, you know, you think well, fortunately. You know, people with, with brothers and sisters with Christ get over that, they get through it. But what about those people behind? What they got to clamber over all that, and they're all prey to the the wolves and the hawks, praying over other people that they're changing their minds. You know, maybe one people were in the cause, the next minute they're compromised and they're hello. I'm a member of the OTO now. You know, I'm in the club. They may have been groomed. They may be. That might be part of their grooming to do these things. I don't know. This is Satan's world. He's he, he's a master puppet master. And if you're not Christ in Christ, you're under that influence. You you're even being pinched by somebody who's pinching someone else. Who's pinching the little, picking up the little people and using them. And uh, you may start off independent and truth seeker, 
that you might end up the way of the world and be just end up being a, on one arm of it or the other. You know, you've got to be in Christ. And um, I, I, I look at, I look to a lot of sisters and I think, oh, I hope they've got a brother covering them. I hope they've got somebody, you know, uh, guiding them or praying over them or back in their corner, you know. Because it, if you're a, a sister and you're vulnerable and you, you might have a family, but if you've got no uh, elders around you, you're really like a duck out of water. And you know, I'm not saying you're not strong, but it just means we're ducks out of water when we haven't got that, um, you know, that approval of the authority close by watching over us. Because if we swing and they're up, you know, they're unlikely to fall or slip. You've got them to, oh yeah, I've got you, I've got you. See, I've, that's what I've been craving for and I've been looking for that. And when I found it, you know, I keep that in my heart, that ain't going nowhere. And then I look for more like that and then you find more and more. But I think a lot of these sisters and lots of brothers and, you know, there's really doesn't, there doesn't seem to be many, you know, come out in and, and give release videos so, you know I'm sure there's thousands and thousands of targeted videos but I'm talking about brothers and sisters in Christ there doesn't seem to be a great great deal you know some people may just keep their faith to themselves and they're not you know they're like they say all like I'm just saying what I've seen and what I've witnessed and, and look for for my own edification and from people's testimonies so I, I do worry about that and I am concerned about that and uh, I hope those um, people are covered and they're not, they're not under any compromise or they feel threatened. So if they are, I just want to encourage them to seek, seek some really up, you know, upstanding elders that have got a ministry and that they, you know that they're approved from the Holy Spirit and you study the scriptures and study them out to make sure that they are standing and they're doing the right thing and then and then say look I'm a single sister I've got no one would you guide me and help me uh, you know I can't offer that myself because I am on my own sort of thing so if I had a ministry I would I would be offering that I would be sticking my not for an audience, but just reaching out to people and say, what I've just said, you need that covering, you need that brother, you need, it's like a, a daughter needs a father or a big brother watching over her to, to keep an eye, like we all do, I need a big brother keep an eye out on me. So you've got to be very careful, we all pray to be swept off in things and not see where we're, you know, perhaps transgressing or the dangers around us. No, I, that's just one of my concern, not just for those individuals, but all individuals who suffer in this, who, who need to hear the gospel, and that's, that's really basically what I'm about, it's about winning souls and helping those souls like myself who, who fall over and get left by the wayside and knocked over, and perhaps people don't understand them why. So, you know, I'm trying to fill, perhaps the Lord's using me to fill something that hasn't been there. And that's why I want to just keep it simple, fundamental, practical things to help people keep a context of the environment and and really to encourage them to draw nearer to the Lord in, in their walks and as I am doing. And uh, I pray that that's what I'm prayed for, that people pray for me to, you know, not not return to my folly or my wickedness or my my transgressions but just to go forward steadily not not strife but just abound in in the blessings of the gospel and service and uh, the, that's what I'm offering and uh, so some practical practical things if you feel you want to get you know have something to replace to do something for the Lord, uh, you know, even in the weakness, and I, I'm not justifying weaknesses, but uh, I mean, private, you in, in your recovery, your little intensive care unit in your closet, if you're one of those people, you know, you're, you're, you're intensively isolated and you're in intensive care and you've got perhaps a, 
nobody around you. Perhaps you've got one or two people, occasionally your family around you. But perhaps you're one of those people that are like intensive care and you're struggling. One of the wonderful things that's been a blessing to me is just write a gospel tract or, and go and post them through the door. Something simple like that. As well as all your other disciplines, your scriptures and your prayers. You get to do that. That, you know, write it. You, you can do it small, you can do a scripture, you can, there's so many, you can do it so many ways as long as you um, contain the basic uh, principles of, of the gospel, which is uh, repentance and faith in, 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 in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, and the, you know, we're all sinners, even Christians are sinners, and repentance and you put your testimony in and then pick out the principles of the scriptures and write your testimony on the track to even attempt to start and learn and then go and post that through a door in prayer, in faith if that's something, you, if you feel you're not being any use in the body or you feel like you're not by the wayside and you're useless and redundant well you're not redundant, you're probably not really sure what you, what you can do or what you should be doing. I had exactly the same difficulty. Well, what am I doing? What should I be doing? And, uh, and that's how you find yourself, by trying things, by faith. And that's what opens the doors. One of the greatest blessings for me, and you get people who knock tracks, you get people who knock signs, don't, don't take any notice. But, you know, knock you for this, knock you for that. And they may not mean it, they may just like, you know, had a different experience and they're sharing their experience and it may not be the same as yours. So, you know, don't hate anyone for a sharp comment, you know, I don't mean it, you know, it's just a it's just human human weakness and we've all got that and we have to forgive one another for our, for our weaknesses, don't take anything to heart. But doing something like that, any little service, and I, Going out on your own as a sister, mate, perhaps it's difficult, you need to go out, you know, uh, people with, you know, where you feel safe, so you have to weigh up your own circumstances to what you can do, what you can realistically do, but if you do need a blessing, you want to lift, and you want to get away, you, you've got that in hand, right, if you've got a, an addiction you're trying to get over and you're doing nothing, right, you, what are you replacing that with, right, go and do some service and leave that and that'll be there when you get back. But going to do some service, little things like that can be like a, a new drug. And that old one will go, will deteriorate. And, and, and if you're honest with the Lord where you are with it, and you're not letting that mix with that, and you'll end up doing that more than the other, and then that will shrink. And that will brighten your life, that will brighten your, that will like lift you and that keeps you separate from getting snagged in other, all the other world that goes with it and that, that takes time and that takes discipline, that takes tears and that takes sincerity to want to beat it, you know, not my, my, not my will father, thy will be done, you know, and um, that's where the doors, that's where the heavens open and that's where the blessings come from, just finding yourself approved in doing something and growing so if I can encourage anyone who feels a bit left behind or a bit feeble you know uh, that, that that's a wonderful testimony to, to find is to, in service you know to start just start service and then the rest will open up where where you'll be best placed in service and then from there on you're going to be best placed in other places of service who knows uh, but that that was a very helpful thing. The practical there's not oh, with targeting individuals there's not really um much practical advice about how to protect yourself and there's a lot of money traps. Uh really to protect yourself you need a Faraday cage. Um now you can uh you can make one. But that's expensive, and that's the trouble. Everything's expensive. You can get wall cladding, but you, you need your window shields. It's all expensive. I mean, I've got none of it. I, I just suffer it. 
but there is something practical I'm going to do. You can build like a invisible cloak, you know, get a duvet and an old um, tarpaulin, put some tin foil lead if you can afford lead, stitch it all together, put the padding on, and then just fold it in a sandwich and earth the bit of metal in the ground as you sleep, and it, and you'll be a complete invisible. You know, that's one simple practical solution I can think of. And then you could hide, you can go off radar, if you're earthed. The only other thing is that underground bunkers or you build a, a shelter, you can get, um, actually you can get um, like uh, growing tents, which are, you know, like like dope growers use or, or indoor greenhouse growers use. They're not, they're not, they're not just for drugs, they're for like indoor hydroponics to grow indoor gardens. You know, that's all a, a legitimate hobby, you know. And you can get these tents, but the trouble with mylar and tin foil to protect yourself from radiation, it, it it's something like minus eight decibels, one bit of mylar will only knock about eight decibels off the actual volume of whatever's going through you. So it's very it, it, it's not really a perfect solution, mylar or tin foil. Lots of tin foils would be good, but I mean I wouldn't. I mean, to me, it's just uh, it's in my, it just aggravates me. I'd rather just suck it out and forget it's there, and not let it bother me, and get on and you know I'd get around to doing that, trying that practical thing out. So that's one thing I'm gonna do with the blanket, like the invisible blanket cloak or whatever. See if that works practically and makes a difference, and then to see well, you know, is that and if that that would work and if that if I do that and I'm still getting the problems well then, then it's something else other than this microwaves it could be you know my physiology lo lots of different things I, I'm trying to weigh things out evaluate things sincerely and honestly and not jump to any conclusion with this targeting and I have so I don't dismiss it I'm, I, I'm just trying to get some clarity and that's what I want with hopefully that um, can get across that keeping it I'm trying to keep it concise and then I'm hoping that helps people keep focus for themselves so they, they're not blown away by the pitfalls and the confusing things that we pass through so to, to take those lessons and then go look yeah, I'll put it put my lesson on the table so that it it's a uh, you know, and I hope it's not too late for some people. But I hope I can give some hope to those people coming behind, out of this world, out of this crazy. And it's getting, you know, it's getting worse and worse and worse, and they're getting more um, sophisticated. So uh, <coughs> I just wanted to uh, get that out there. I think that's going to be about all for today. Um, oh, one more thing. Um, I think I'll cover this because uh, this is to do with uh, the the drugs. Uh, this is a the teachings of Don Juan. This is about American Indian and drug gods and all that satanic stuff. And uh, it's a one thing in, I wanted to point out in this book was for young people the, the glamorising of drugs. You see the, the spiritualness, the oh the mystery, you know the secrets. You know, forget things like that. You, if you want, there's no mysteries. If you want to learn and know things, you you need Christ to teach you anything you need to know, and he teach you things far better than this bubble gum that you get in these books. But this is a very good well researched book it's a good it's a good book to read um but it's got that saucy little hook in it of, of satan where it glamorizes all these drugs for the young people who are getting into that world the new age world and the that's when i read it i found this in uh i think it's a toy box around one of my relations all scrunched up an old penguin book in bits and you know all ripped probably stolen from a library at school and it was dumped in someone's toolbox I thought oh, that's interesting about Indians and peyote and all that stuff and that's something that appealed to me you see that's a peyote 
cactus, you see, don't ever do that stuff, mescaline. Uh, that is uh, wickedly powerful stuff, and mushrooms and all that, that stuff. And this is what it glamorises, all the spiritual connection, and it's Satan, and Satan appears in here as a, you know, an apparition. And it's one of the mediums that Satan would use to, you know, get, get the Indian people into this sort of um, practices into this sort of uh, body of people, body of witchcraft, body of, it's all about sorcery. These are very dangerous books, you know, these are really spiritually the most dangerous books and, and if you're unaware of that, you get that hook and it leads you into that, that avenue. And uh, I, I wanted to point that out and that you know, and this all ties in with the celebrity, or the whole world thing, the ATO stuff and all that. These hooks to get you into your part, whatever that is, you know, deception. And it's a synagogue of Satan. And a synagogue of Satan's got all these celebrities hooks, uh, playing one off the other. It's in, it's in the whole racket, it runs the world, you know, it's uh, rife. And, and the only the only way to get free of it is get out of it completely, and don't fear it. You know it fears you more than. And if you're compromised and they're threatening you, oh, we're going to kill you. They're going to kill you anyway. So you want to tell them to get stuff. Say, kill me. You know, I ain't selling out my soul to lick your boots because they use you and throw you away. And they use you on other people, and you'll feel all right, plum once you've been compromised and you might not feel uh, you might feel safe at the minute but once your time's up and you're spent and you've done your job right you're left there wrung out and all the people you've been spending on they ain't gonna feel sorry for you are they you know the lord will the lord's compassionate and he reaches out to everybody who've made mistakes you know he's a, a god of second chances and, you know, third chance, second chance, second chance, second chance, second chance, second chance, second chance. Uh, you know, until it's too late and you, you, you know, he's, he ain't gonna muck around anymore. But you've had plenty of warning. And he gives you plenty of warning. And he understands if you're gonna do that repetitively, he ain't, he, you know, there's certain people that can get away with things that others can't because they can't help it, you know, they're just like, handicapped in, in some sort of way for a, you know, maybe just a little period, may, may not be permanent, maybe just a, a, less, a growing lesson. So if you're in that world and you're getting pinched by it or you're fearful of it, don't be fearful of it. If you're not in Christ and you're, you're being pinched by it, you're in serious trouble. You're in very serious trouble. And whatever you've been led to believe you're part of no you're, you're in a you've been sold a lie and you're going to get spent you're going to get slapped and all that good you've done for people is going to be destroyed and that's what and that's the idea of getting you that's the idea of hooking you into it and they poach you and they get you one by one they dob you up if you if you ain't strong in christ dob 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 bye you're in and you're left who's going to come running for you Who's going to come and bail you out of that soup that you've done? You foolishly got your, you put your trust in them. You put your trust in Satan. You put your trust in liars and bandits, murderers and crooks. Even though they might be your friends and family, but they're compromised by it. And if you're not out of it, you're in it. And if you're in it and you can't be in and out of it, you got to be out. You got to be separate from it. You got to go say, see you later, lads. I'm not. I'm not having no part of this. You want to fight me, you fight my saviour. There's no...